<laughs> a play of faces from Born in Blood, Volume 2. How do they do it? How can they be so still? I've never known the trick of it, not since I was first born. My mother, cackling cruel bitch, told me the story almost daily, before I cut out her tongue, stabbed her eyes, how I slopped out of her white and coiled, like a lizard you were, a some sort of fucking fish. I don't remember. Only the screaming, the world swimming, my skin so tight, aching as though burned, barely healed, every moment of every day. I remember seeing them from my window, in photographs, on television. The children she made sure I knew were different, that I was supposed to be like. She'd show me, hit me, make me sorry, hit me till she ran out of tears, out of breath, hoping that I'd never cry again. But I always did. I didn't learn what she called my faces until much later. How, I still don't know. In a dream, on instinct, she screamed when I toddled down the stairs, trying to smile, to show her what I'd done. I thought she'd be proud, that she'd say, I love you, at last. She beat me until I couldn't move, until that first face gave way, and I became white and nothing again. Don't you ever, don't you ever dare do that again. And I never did, not in front of her. Not until I grew too big for her to beat. When she grew so scared of me, she put a lock and bolt on my attic door. I liked that. Smelled it every time she came near me. Old, then. Old, sick and twisted. I liked her. The look of her. The smell of her. But I liked the look and smell of the ones outside even more. I tried to be like them. Not the children. They didn't interest me anymore. The men. The women. I made masks of them all. But I can never keep them. Never make them still. For the longest time, I thought that was why she hated me, because I was ugly and stupid, because I couldn't do what the rest could, make myself still and beautiful. I learned better, far, far later. She didn't hate me for that. None of them did. They weren't like me, and I wasn't like them. None of them came out flopping and screaming and fish-like. None of them had to learn. Always still, always the same. Mother told me, as she lay dying, when she couldn't see me any more, smiling through the blood. Now I know. One more trick to learn. Stillness. Then I can be anyone. Any face I see or dream. I don't know where to look or learn, but I will. Even if it takes me a hundred years, until she's gone to nothing but dust and bone, I'll learn. Then I'll see what miracles this still-faced, maskless world has to show. <laughs> Ha ha ha!